2,500 years ago, there was an Arahath monk called Magalana. He has the power to visit heaven hell during the time he lives in the human world. One day when Magalana monk visited heaven, he saw a beautiful mansion. Then he stopped at that place and talked with the god who owns the mansion. God, your beauty shines in all directions, like the bright star named Osadi. Divine music and sweet fragrance spread from your hands and feet when you dance. Also, the ornaments on your head play delightful music. The bouquet of flowers on your head spreads a sweet fragrance, like that of a manjasaka tree, and plays music when the breeze blows on it. Surely you must smell that fragrance and see your own divine body? What kind of meritorious action did you do when you were in the human world to have gained this beauty that shines in all directions and earned all these wonderful things? In my previous life, I was in the human world living in a city called Gaia. I was a servant girl working in a high caste family. I did not have much merit and was very unfortunate. Everybody called me Rajamala, even though I worked hard, I was abused by the Baroness. She always grabbed my coiffure and threatened and beat me. Finally, I decided to cut my hair, then she was angrier with me than before. Threaded a rope around my neck instead of my coiffure and hit me by using the rope. I was tired of living that way, one day I took a water pot and, pretending to get some water, I ran away. I ran into the forest beside the road, there I contemplated suicide. I thought that there was no point in living like this. I made a strong noose and tied it to a tree. I looked around to see whether anybody was there. Then I saw the Supreme Buddha, the most compassionate teacher of all beings in the world, sitting at the root of a tree meditating, free from all fears, I was shocked and surprised. The hairs on my body stood on end. I thought, who is that being in this forest, is he a human or a god? The sight of him was thrilling. He has escaped from the forest of defilements and attained the bliss of calmness. When I saw him, I was delighted. I realized that he was not an ordinary human. The Blessed One lived with restrained senses, delighting in meditation with his mind established in Nibbana. Truly, he is the Supreme Buddha, the most compassionate teacher in the world. Like a lion living in his cave, the Blessed One is not afraid of anything. Seeing a brave Buddha is very rare, like seeing an Uduambara flower. The Supreme Buddha called to me gently saying, Rajamala, and asked me to go for refuge to the Supreme Buddha, when I heard those sweet, gentle, meaningful, soft, and lovely words all my sorrows went away. My mind was joyful and clean. I was ready to understand the Dhamma. At that time, the most compassionate teacher in the world taught me the Dhamma, saying, this is suffering, this is the cause of suffering, this is the end of suffering, and this is the way leading to deathlessness. I followed the advice of the most compassionate and skilled teacher, the Supreme Buddha, I understood the peaceful and deathless state, of Nibbana. With the realization of the Four Noble Truths, my love towards the Buddha became strong, unshakable, well-rooted, and well-established. I became a daughter born of the heart of the Supreme Buddha, then I returned home full of happiness and continued my work happily. From that day onwards, I lived according to Dhamma. Spread loving kindness to all, including Baroness. She also realized my change and she also became kind hearted. After my death in the human world, I enjoy playing and dancing in this heaven. I do not have any fear of falling into the plains of misery again. I wear divine flower garlands and drink water from the divine river Madhumadhadava. Sixty thousand musical instruments wake me from my sleep. Gods entertain me. Their names are Alamba, Gagara, Bhima, Sidhyavadan, Samsaya, Pakara, and Safasa. Other gods, including Veena, Maka, Nanda, Sunanda, Sanadina, Susamita, Alambusa, Misakizi, Pandarika, Athakaruni, Enifasa, Sufasa, Subhada, and Miduvadin entertain me as well. These and many other gods entertain me with divine music coming whenever I wish. They approach me saying, Come now. Let's dance and sing. We are here to entertain you. Those without merit will not receive mansions like this. Only those with merit receive this happiness in the heavenly Nindana Park in the Tavatimsa heaven. Those who have not collected merit will not get any happiness in their current life or the next. 
Only those who have collected merit get happiness in both the current and next life. Those who would like to be reborn in the Tavatimsa heaven must collect much merit. Only people who do good things are able to enjoy heavenly pleasures. Definitely, supreme Buddhas are born into this world for the happiness of all beings. Thus, Buddhas are the unique treasure of fields where donors can plant their seed of merit. Having respected such great beings, these fortunate people enjoy heavenly pleasures. After that, Magalana monk came back to the human world and told this story to the people, explaining the converting Rajamala's life from darkness to heaven and the importance of collecting merits during human life.